What's up, everybody? Um, apparently, Reggie Jackson has now been bought out by the Detroit Pistons, and he signed with the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh, am I supposed to unpack this? Okay. Well, roll the intro. We'll we'll unpack it. I guess there's there's a lot to unpack here. So let's just let's do it. Guys, another day, another Laker fan being dragged into some mess. Basically, y'all, if you didn't see, follow me on Twitter, by the way, follow my social medias, but Adrian Wojnarowski, you know, the ESPN senior NBA insider, he tweeted something about, you know, Reggie Jackson being bought out and signing with the Clippers, agreeing to sign with the Clippers, right? And now he quotes a tweet and he says this. To me, this is just, just it's heartbreaking. It says, Jackson gives the Clippers second unit a starting level playmaker and scorer. Lakers had a hope to sign Jackson too, sources said. <sighs> oh, no. it's just, this, this is heartbreaking to me. Let me continue. Matter of fact, no, let me stop here. Lakers had a hope to sign Jackson too, sources said. You, to me, this is a great midseason pick. Underrated, possibly. I don't know. I think this is great for, for the Clippers. I'm happy for them. Why do we get dragged into everything the Clippers do? It's like they don't exist without us. We have existed without the Clippers for how long? Long enough for us to win 16 championships long. You know? And they... Anything they do is, is brought back to us. Clearly, first of all, Woj is a, a big fan of the Clippers. He's very biased against the Lakers, as we've seen in this past reporting. You know, you can go ahead and check that out for yourself. It's just ridiculous. It breaks my heart. It's just like, let them be. You know, it's like the little kids on the block. Let them have their thing. Like, look at how they're trying. This is LA their way. This is their chance to prove to us that they are valid. Because at this point, they're not valid. This is their one year to like their one shot. Well, Lob City was also their la their shot, but they they missed that. But this, they have another, sh this is their next shot, guys. This is their next shot to prove to us. And we're, 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 we're dragging us into it again. Let them do LA their way. Why do we have to be a part of it? This had nothing to do with us. You dragged us into it. I feel, I'm heartbroken. Even if they win a championship this year, people are gonna say, okay, you need 15 more. That's not even fair to them. Let them build their own legacy. They're starting from scratch. They have nothing. Let them build their own legacy. I'm begging you, stop bringing us into it. It's just making things worse for them. I'm heartbroken. Clipper fans, I'm sorry. This is not even me. This is him. He did this. Pathetic. Let me continue. Next, the very next sentence. Clippers emerged from the buyout market with the most talented player available that had been available to contenders. Basically, just trying, just to try to change the narrative and say, well, they have the most talented player now. Like, we get it. With the bias reporting, porting Woj, you might as well be me. You know, if I was an outlet, a news outlet, I'd be tweeting like this. Woj, you are literally me. You are a Clipper fan and it's okay. You don't have to always send subliminal shots and, and bring the Lakers into it. Just say, Jackson gives the Clippers second unit a starting level playmaker and score. Great pickup. Now you gotta say, he emerged from the with the best possible player they could have gotten. That's your opinion, first of all. I'm not, I'm not mad at that opinion, but that's your opinion. And then Lakers had hoped to sign. Other people hoped to sign him too, but but you have to mention just the Lakers. It's heartbreaking. I just feel for the Clipper organization. And I now I kind of more understand their frustration with us. It's like everything they do, you know, it just involves us like they can't exist without us. I do, I do get it. So now Clipper fans, I'm gonna give you an apology. I don't apologize often to Clipper fans at least, but I will give you an apology because I've been a little hard on you guys. I didn't realize that this is what you guys were dealing with. You're, it's your own fans doing this to you. No. Sad. Tragic. Embarrassing, really. You know, this is tragic. Now, I was going through Twitter just to look at some other people's reactions to the signing. We had a plethora of different reactions. We had the Laker haters saying, you know, we took an L. Lakers took an L. You know, of course. We had the Clipper fans saying, oh, yay, this is a W. You know, we had other um, NBA teams fans. Not Laker fans at all. I was just, I was just scrolling down. You can check the Twitter too. This is not me. They were like, 
how many people do they need to beat a 35 year old LeBron? Oh. I had to stifle the laugh and just keep it pushing because I'm not going to comment on that. I thought it was funny. But let's just move on. It had nothing to do with me. I just read. Let's move on. And then I saw a lot of Detroit fans, Detroit Piston fans. I don't know if y'all are salty or something, but the Detroit fans were like posting pictures and, and videos of people dancing and rejoicing, saying, when Detroit finally gets rid of Reggie Jackson and they're dancing as like memes and stuff. I'm like, was he that bad? I know his field goal percentage is low, okay? That's one thing, that's just a fact that's out there that we know. His field goal percentage is not good. But to me, he's still a solid pickup. So I'm confused. I'm like, why are they so excited to get him off, <laughs> get him out of Detroit? Like, I don't think he was that bad to my knowledge. Maybe I didn't watch enough Detroit basketball, but I don't know. The Detroit fans are happy. I don't know. I don't know why, but they're all rejoicing over there. So those are kind of like the range of emotions. Um, I'm sure you're wondering how I feel about this. Um, I'm very tired right now, I'm not gonna lie. Midterms are coming up, I'm getting a little sick. I'm tired. And so when I read this, I just I just read it. Wow! And I was gonna go to sleep, and then I was like, oh, they probably wanna know what I think about this. And then Woj brought us up, you know what I mean? He had to name drop the Lakers of all people. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I have to say something and so i'm here just to just to basically announce it but i really don't feel any type of way i'm i'm proud of the clippers they're really they're trying like very hard which any team should be that's not a diss at all i know you guys like look for subliminal shots and what i'm saying they're trying very hard is that a bad thing i don't think that's a bad thing they got marcus morris the enforcer you know that fought against or was gonna fight in the the 76ers game they lost that but at least he was enforcing how many points did he score in that game let me see how many points he scored in that game. I'm sorry, I just got distracted. I'm flipping through the NBA scores. I see the Celtics versus Clippers score. I remember that game, we had Tatum with 40 points. He was literally calling ISOs on Kawhi Leonard and just scoring. Kawhi had like, what, two five points in the clutch? You know, no defense being played, but that was like the lockdown. They're like the lockdown squad. Let me see how many, forget the, the 76ers game. Let me see how many points, oh. Well, Paul Jordan got injured. He got injured. He only played 14 minutes. Marcus Morris scored 10 points. That's not bad at all. Um, Kawhi scored 28. Um, nowhere to be found in the clutch moments. And this is also two overtimes, and he's scoring 28 points. Yeah, the box score looks kind of horrific. I'm not even going to read the rest. But um, that, to me, that game was a little astounding. I'm not here to talk about that. Well, it was a little concerning when, you know, I'm seeing people like Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart just just scoring at will from wherever. I'm I'm sitting there like, this is the defensive juggernaut. This is what people told me. This is what Adrian Wojnarowski told me. We got the young Jason Tatum, calling for ISOs with Kawhi guarding him and just doing whatever he wanted. I'm sitting there like, this is, this isn't right. Something's going on. But the thing is though, I can't even say anything because they got Marcus Morris. They got Reggie Jackson. So this will turn their season around, okay? They're, I think, fourth seed right now. I think we're first. Well, I know we're first, but they're like fourth, third, you know what I mean? Somewhere down there. And this will turn their season around. So I'm like, I'm not really mad at them. I'm not, like, I hope you guys don't expect me to be mad and like, oh, that was my player. We should have gotten them. I've just not moved enough. Maybe I'm underestimating it. Maybe this was the move of the century. I just, I'm not really like, shaken to my core or anything. I, I really read that and I was gonna go back to sleep. But I was like, you probably wanna hear what I have to say, but to me, I'm just, I, I'm cool. I mean, they got themselves a point guard. Why y'all had to mention us? I don't know. Why the Detroit <laughs> Pistonians were, were, were celebrating this move? I don't know. Something they know, we don't know about, I don't know. But to me, it's a solid pickup for them. I think they did a great job, they need it. They load manage a lot, so they need people on the second unit to be able to carry them through those games where Kawhi doesn't feel like playing, or he's a little too tired, or he's just chilling and relaxing, relaxing off cool, shooting some b-ball outside of the school. You know what I mean? Like they need people for when they just don't feel like doing it. You know what I mean? That's it. Um, leave in the comments below what you guys think, what what y'all thought I was gonna say. I, don't, you know, I I seen, I seen a Laker account on Twitter. They were saying, um, bro, I really see Laker fans real life crying over a Reggie Jackson signing. And somebody replied, they just need a midday nap. And I cried because I need a midday nap. But even I didn't, I didn't overreact. Like, let them get the people. We need to have faith in our own team, you know? If Reggie Jackson and Marcus Morris, great pickups, great additions, 
but if they're shaking your faith in the Lakers team as a Laker fan, not as a Clipper fan, if they're shaking your faith as a Laker fan, then that's on you. I mean, to me, I just, I don't know. I just have a feeling Laker profit, I have yet to be wrong. I already know the Clippers aren't gonna win, so everything they're doing right now, to me, Laker profit, I already know it's for nothing. But we can't ignore the prowess of their signings. It was a good signing. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys panicking? Let me know if y'all are panicking. Um, check this video out if you haven't seen it yet. Click here to subscribe to the Splash Squad and follow my social medias and I'm gone. Alright, I guess that's it. I'm... Mm -hmm.